Hello everybody, this is Svetlana and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the city of Khantimansisk, which is the administrative center of Khantimansi Autonomous District. It is located in the oil-rich region of Western Siberia and is considered one of the richest cities in Russia. Khantimansisk is one of the oldest, most beautiful and unusual cities in Western Siberia. It's located in the Taiga on seven hills, at the confluence of two Siberian rivers, Ob and Rytysh. The history of the city dates back to 1582, when a small settlement was first mentioned in the Chronicle. 435 years later, Hantemansisk became similar to the European capital, with developed infrastructure, modern architecture and historical monuments. The population of Hantemansisk is around 100,000 people, and the average monthly salary is 81,000 rubles, or 1300 US dollars, which is considered way above average in Russia. Hantemansisk has also one of the highest population growth rates in Russia. It's a very fast-growing and hospitable city that welcomes more than 100,000 tourists every year. Hantumansisk is located three and a half hours away from Surgut, about 330 kilometers away. And I had to come here because I needed to put a postal on my birth certificate. And for some reason, I can only put the postal in Hantumansisk since it's the administrative center of uh, the entire Hantumansi Autonomous District. So. I didn't really want to come here, but I had to. So I decided to take this opportunity to film a little vlog for you. My stepdad drove me here and I also brought a friend with me just to, to have a little more fun. I don't really like the city. I used to spend here a lot of time during my swimming years. We came to Hantemansisk uh, very often for some training trips because uh, here they have a 50 meter long swimming pool and in Surgut at that time it was only 25 meter swimming pools and uh, I was always really bored here it's a small city much smaller than Surgut and there was always nothing to do during our days off we were really struggling finding some fun things to do even walking around the streets like right now I'm in the central square and I don't find it that interesting to be here so i'm really glad that i'm here for only short period of time for just one day i'm gonna pick up my apostle later today and gonna go back to surgut and i kind of feel good walking the old streets that i used to but i think it's only because i know that i'm not gonna be here for a very long time so honestly i don't have very good impressions of the city even though it is uh, richer than Surgut, considered to be the administrative center, that's where a lot of um, world events took place. For example, world chess uh, tournaments took place here in 2009, I believe. But this city really uh, is not my favorite, <laughs> let's put it that way. My birth certificate will be ready in one hour, but while we're waiting, we decided to take a tour around Huntman Seas and I'm gonna make a quick vlog for you. We're gonna visit a few attractions. It's a very small city, everything is concentrated basically in one place and it will not take much time for us to discover the main attractions of Huntman Seas. So, welcome to the vlog! <laughs> And our first destination of today is the Archeo Park of Khantemansisk. Archeo Park is the natural park where you can find the bronze culture of mammoths in its real size. Mammoths used to live on this territory a long time ago and today you can come and watch them standing here in their real size. It is free to enter and you can touch and climb every sculpture and take pictures of them as much as you want.
Our next destination of today is the monument to the discoverers of the land Yugra. Stella to the discoverers of the Yugra land is the highest point in the city. Its peak is visible from anywhere. The 60-meter pyramid was built on the Commissar mountain in 2003. It's got three sides and each side symbolizes different period of development of Yugra. The ancient period, the era of the conquest of Siberia by Yermak, and the time when mass development of oil and gas fields began. The stella resembles a hunted tent, a Cossack observation tower, and an oil tower. Right next to the stella, there is observatory territory, where you can see just a little part of Khantemansisk. And this river, which is frozen now, is the Irtysh river, which is the main river in Khantemansisk. And right there, on the very top, in this glass part, there is another observation deck, but it's not working right now, and it hasn't been wor working for a while. I don't know why. So, we are enjoying the outside observation deck instead. After visiting the stella, we went to the Church of the Resurrection of Christ. It's a functioning Orthodox Church, which is one of the main attractions of Hantemansisk. It's located in the central part of the city on one of the seven hills. This beautiful Orthodox complex was built to commemorate the 2000th anniversary of the birth of Christ. Let's go inside, shall we? That was beautiful, really, really, really beautiful. And everything looked so brand new. Unfortunately, this part is closed due to winter. This is the fountains and they are so beautiful. I never actually been on them, but I've seen the pictures. And I'm quite sad right now that they are closed and I cannot show it to you. We've seen a few of the attractions already and I think we all agree that it's time for lunch. And we're not gonna eat at the local cuisine, we don't have time for that. We're just quickly gonna go into a Georgian place. Georgian restaurant always sounds like a good idea, no matter where you are. in the city center right now this is the central square around me and right there is the Hantemansisk city administration so this is basically the Hantemansisk downtown and it looks like that This is a Fabergé fountain, unfortunately it's not operating at the moment. So 
So our last location of today is the Hanty Mansisk Biathlon Center. This is an active biathlon center where the Olympians train. A lot of winter sport events take place in this biathlon center, including the biathlon World Cups that take place here almost every year used to take place here almost every year let's say it that way and you probably already know that this year russian and belarusian paralympic teams were excluded from participating in paralympic games in china so it was decided to move only russian and belarusian team to participate in winter paralympic games here in Hantemansisk and it actually just ended maybe one maybe two weeks ago here I did not come to watch these games I'm not that interested in winter sports but this is what happened recently here on this field And actually, on one of the training trips uh, here in Hantemansisk, that was during winter time in, I don't even remember the year, maybe it was 2007, maybe 2006, a long time ago, we were living somewhere here, uh, right above the Biathlon Center, on the territory of the Biathlon Center, and right there is a cafeteria where we... Uh, we're eating. <laughs> this place is cool. I like this place. We had a winter training trip. We did a lot of skiing and swimming at the same time. And maybe you know that skiing connects to swimming in a way because of the moves that are similar. So it's important for swimmers to um, do to ski during winter time if you have an opportunity. If you don't live in LA. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the story. Just when you climb up this bridge, here are the houses where we used to live. I don't remember which house it was. That's impossible to remember after so many years. But it's kind of cool to be back here. We just came to another place. We decided to stop here on our way home. This place wasn't on our list of things to visit while I'm here on the short trip, but we decided to stop anyways. And we got so lucky because we came exactly 30 minutes before it closes. And we managed to pay one minute before the cashier closed as well. So I think it's a luck and we meant to be here. This place is the open air ethnographic museum Torumma which means sacred land in the local dialect. The museum displays authentic reconstructions and real information about the life of the Hante and Mansi people. All the household items, jewelry and other exhibits are real. Therefore, in Torumma you can fully imagine how the Ob Ugrians lived. Snowman Siberian style or should I say snow woman I am assuming that this is the traditional Hante Mansi house called Chum in Russian but unfortunately it's fully covered with snow and you are not able to see the original shape of it which uh, is funny in a way Welcome to the winter toilet! <laughs> mm. 
nice place. We did come a little bit too late, so we only managed to go inside two of the houses on the territory, but there's a lot of them. And everything is made in the traditions of the Hante Mansi people who occupy this area. I like it. I really like it. Very touristy place, but helps you to learn about the culture of the local people. Despite the fact that the number of Hante and Mansi is only 3.5% of the city's population, their culture and traditions are closely intertwined with the life of Hante Mansisk and are embodied in their architectural forms, culinary preferences of residents, and attitude to the world around them. By the way, guys, this street is called Sabianina Street. And as you know, Sabianin is the mayor of Moscow now. But if you didn't know that before, Sabianin used to take a post uh, here in Hanty Mansisk. And then he got upgraded, I guess. <laughs> and now he's taking a mayor post in Moscow. But honestly, like he could have a little bit prettier street named after him, don't you think? I'm back home in Surgut and uh, it was quite fun actually. I did what I had to do. I got my apostolized birth certificate and please tell me what do you think about the city? Did you like it? Um, as I already said, it's not my favorite and I have uh, quite unpleasant memories from it, but being there for just one day felt nice. It was It was really good. However, I don't like the city and I cannot imagine myself living there. My favorite part though is the Mammoths. I think Mammoths are so cool, it's worth to visit, even driving from Surgut just to see Mammoths and go back. Uh, they're really cool, they are really, really impressive. And Biflon Center, of course, I really liked, it was really nice to come back. So please let me know what's your opinion about the city, would you like to visit it? I mean, at least in theory, would you like to visit the city or not? And uh, thank you so much for spending this day with me, with my friends, with my stepdad. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye.